here's an old window screen that I found uh, down the street. Some uh, one of the neighbors uh, threw out four of them. Where you um, are taking and using it as a decoration in the backyard. The only problem is it, it looks too, too good. It doesn't look weathered. It's just uh, white. And I want to make it look like this one. This one looked exactly the same way uh, until I uh, weathered it. So I'm going to show you what I did to make it look uh, weathered. Okay, I've sanded it, and it looks uh, better already. My next step is I'm going to apply some paint, just in some areas. It's going to be the same color as the house here. Exterior latex paint, I'm going to water it down and just kind of streak it on in areas. Okay, I'm done applying the paint. You see I've got it uh, kind of streaky. I'll wait for oh, a few minutes. It's a warm, dry day out, so it should dry pretty quick. Then I'll quickly do a re-sand of it, you know, sand a little bit of it off. Okay, the, the green paint I applied is dry. So I'm just going to do another light sanding. Okay, here's uh, what it looks like after the green paint has been sanded. The white is still a little too white, so I'm going to rub some uh, brown or uh, red stain on it. I'll darken it up a little, turn it uh, a little more yellow, kind of like this right here. Okay, this is what it looks like now after rubbing the uh, red oak stain on. The white isn't so white anymore. It's kind of looks like a faded, weathered yellow. The only 
uh, next step will be the bare spots. I'm going to rub a weathered gray on the bare spots. This is uh, what the frame looks like now. After I put the weathered varnish or the weathered stain on the uh, bare areas, There's one step I forgot to show that I forgot to do in this demonstration, and that was knocking a few dings and dents to make uh, the frame look worn. It's one step I forgot. You can see I did it here on this frame. It's not the biggest, not the biggest deal in the world, but it's one step I forgot. My final step will be to put uh, several coats of uh, clear varnish to uh, exterior varnish to protect the frame from weathering. I'm just using a sponge brush. I got a whole bag of them from the Dollar Tree. Don't need any fancy paint paint brushes for this. One thing I do want to be careful though is uh, with I don't want to get any on the screen. I'll put on oh, probably two or three coats. Right at this time I've got one coat of the uh, varnish on. I'll do several coats. One thing it's probably hard to tell in this video but the screen is in excellent shape which for this case is not a not a good thing we want it to look rusty so what I did the first time on this screen was I wiped the red oak stain on it to make it look a little rusty video but the screen does look screens do look partially rusted here are the other two frames that I picked up off of the curb
This one I have not worked on yet. This one I have. I got my ideas for weathering and aging the frames off of the internet and also from my own backyard. These uh, frames were up in the uh, rafters of my garage and we put them out a couple of years ago. And, uh, we haven't done anything with them. They've aged naturally. So I've got some of the idea of what I wanted the frames to look like from here. There are a couple of more that we got from the garage, from the rafters. These I have not touched either. We're going to hang them along the fence here. <laughs> 